Okay, sorry about that. Hey, all my loyal subjects. It's me, Princess Swordheart the Gamer Queen here. Back with another Let's Play of Dragon Quest XI. That goes up in Elusive Age S. Definitive Edition for the PS4. So in this one, we're going home to see our mom. But before we begin, I'm aiming for a goal of 1,000 subscribers here on the channel. As currently, 80% of you who watch my videos has not subscribed yet. But if you're new to the channel and want to see more awesome content, make sure to hit that subscribe button below to join my kingdom of heroes. But also make sure to check out Patreon. Because if you're looking to help support me making some more videos, make sure to head to Patreon to donate some money to the channel. Because every bit does help for me to make more videos and make more awesome content for all of you who watch these videos. But yeah. But without further ado, let's get right into the video. I gotta admit, it does bring back some memories playing through this, but yeah. Hmm. Aww. So, I hear for the anniversary of Dragon Quest, they're actually planning to do something new. Hmm. I wonder what's up on that roof. Not a lot to do in the beginning, but it will. But as time oh. goes on, there will be a lot more to do. Here's my little soldier. Aww. Well, not so little anymore. I've heard all about your big adventure. Look at you, all grown up. Hmm. <laughs> I hope he wasn't too much of a bother, Gemma dear. <laughs> of course not. Quite the opposite, in fact. You would have been proud of him. We got attacked by a monster at the top of the tour, and I ended up hanging onto the edge of the cliff by my fingertips. I thought I was done for. But you'll never guess what happened next. That mark on his hand suddenly lit up, and a bolt of lightning hit the monster. What did you say? That funny little mark? Lightning flying about the place? Goodness me. Hang on a minute, I... Sorry about that. One of the guards was coming to tell me that it's almost time for dinner. Here I was hoping he'd turn out nice and ordinary, but it seems his grandfather was right all along. Because <laughs> he's not ordinary, well, because... He's been off for long enough now. Here. This belongs to you. Your grandfather asked me to give you it once you'd come of age and climbed the tour. The truth is, there's something I've been keeping a secret all these years. Something I've never told another soul in the village. It's... how can I put this now? Um... Well, he said you're... You're the reincarnation of the Luminary. What? The hero of legend oh, of all of Eridrea. Oh, don't ask me what meant, dear. I haven't got the foggiest. All I know is that your grandfather said you had a special destiny and that there was something you had to do. He said that when you came of age, you were to head north to the capital up there in Heliodor, and show that 
necklace thingy to the king. He seemed to think that if you did that, all would become clear. Clear as mud, I shouldn't wonder. <laughs> anyway, the long and short of it is that if you want to find out what this is all about, you'll have to leave Cobblestone and head over to Heliodor. Aww. Crikey. And I can tell Gemma has feelings <laughs> for him. Well, I can't stop you leaving, I'm sure, but you won't for be marching 11. on an empty stomach. Come on, dinner. <laughs> <laughs> The reincarnation of the Luminary. Eleven tries his hardest to sleep, but he's too confused by everything he's learned and excited about his coming trip. Eventually... Okay, so what we're going to want to do now is leave the house. I admit, it's amazing how two Square Enix representatives got in, both oh, Eleven and Sephiroth, you remember this in tree, Super Smash you? Bros. Ultimate. I yep. got my scarf stuck in it all those years ago. There I was, crying like mad, and it... there you were, running around trying to help me get it down. <laughs> Some things never change, eh? <laughs> You know, no, they don't. I always imagined we'd spend our whole lives right here in Cobblestone. That's why I was so surprised by what your mum said today. All that stuff about you being the luminary, that reincarnation thing. <sighs> Aww. I remember the story my granddad told me. Once upon a time, long, long mm. ago, the world was terrorized by a horrible monster. But then, the Luminary appeared and saved the day. When it was oh. all over, the Luminary turned into a star. And he's been watching over us from up in the heavens wow. ever since. It's pretty amazing. That's star, right there. How old the legend can be, and just how something is always there, of it. How can you be the luminary too? I, I just don't get it. I know. That's what you're going to Heliodor to find out. I understand, really, I do. Listen, we should both be getting back. Everyone will be wondering where we've got to. Goodbye, old friend. Aww. <laughs> Exhausted after his long day, Eleven finally falls into a restless slumber. Then morning comes. <laughs> oh, just like in Smash Bros. Well, just look at you. You don't scrub up too bad, you know. Only wish your grandfather were here to see you. Aww. You won't forget him, will you? He was a fine, upstanding man, the pride of the village. You could do worse than try to be like him. Well, however you turn out, I'm sure you'll find a way to overcome whatever lies ahead. A mother knows these things. Oh, by the way, I've popped a little money I'd saved for a rainy day in your pack. Don't spend it all at once. Why mm -hmm. don't you visit the village shop before you head off to Heliodor? You'll need some supplies for your big adventure. But mm -hmm. don't take too long. The whole village is turning out to wave you off. Aww.
Good. Okay. Yes. Okay, Levin accepts the people's friend request. Okay. Awesome. Quest complete. Fair clothes, eleven. Yes. Okay, so plain clothes. Now we can go. Yes. One day you're just a little boy. The next you're getting ready to leave us. I only wish your grandfather could see what a fine young man you've become. <laughs> to think, it's been so many years already since old Chalky found you floating in... <laughs> he mean, since he brought you to Cobblestone. Aww. We never thought there was anything out of the ordinary about you. And now suddenly there's all this talk of Luminaries, of all things. You know who the Luminary was, of course. A legendary hero who saved the world from a terrible darkness. And we're supposed to believe that you're him reincarnated? <laughs> I don't doubt old Chalky, of course, but it is a little hard to swallow, Definitely I must Definitely a lot to say. take in. Oh. When you meet the but king of Heliodor, Dustin. put in a good word for old Cobblestone, won't you? Eh? Come <laughs> if on. If he finds out this is the village where the luminary was raised, there might be something in it for us, <laughs> if you catch my drift. Oh, you are terrible. Trust you to be thinking about what you can get out of it. Right. Oh, no, I'm only joking, of course. The very thought. <laughs> hmm. <clears throat> anyway, where was I? Ah, yes. Now, the fate that awaits you may well be one beyond anything we simple country folk can imagine. But you must allow us to offer what little assistance we can. Take this map of Erdria with you. 
May it prove useful in finding your way. Awesome. We got the map of Eritrea. It'll be helpful in navigating. Aww. Oh, oh, and <laughs> may this magnificent steed, the pride of cobblestone, lighten your burden and speed you on your way. You'll find Heliodor easily enough. Just head north out of the village and follow your notes. You travel safely now. Oh, you're such a good boy, such a good boy. You make us proud out there, won't you? And come back safe. Aww. Gemma! Here, take this with you. I... I made it for you. Aww. Eleven received Keep Gemma's car. Gemma's charm. I I'm sorry. monsters where you're going. Be sure to keep it close, won't you? Oh, I don't know what's in store for you out there. But wherever you go and whoever you meet, don't... Don't forget us, will you? Take care, and remember, we'll be waiting for you. Aww. But now's where the real journey begins. But yeah, I'm pretty excited to- well, it's just a special edition, well, definitive edition, it just has a lot more than the original version did. Okay. Equip. Group of slimes appear. Got you. The slimes are defeated. Eleven receives four experience points and four gold coins. I me mean, are defeated. Because I will take on some enemies. Raven is defeated. Okay.
Bunicorn. <sighs> Oh, what have we here? I know a budding adventurer when I see one. <laughs> it can be risky heading into the great outdoors if you aren't familiar with the basics of survival, you know. Well, fear not, because that's where I come in. Yay. See the remains of that fire over there? Well, when you spy one of those, it means you can set up camp and rest your weary bones. Just settle down mm. for the night, just go up to the fire and examine it. You'll soon be enjoying a well-earned break. Aww. What's that? You're worried about being attacked by monsters while you sleep? Oh, ye of little faith. That statue over there is chock full of holy powers that'll keep the beasties at bay for as long as you need. And that's not all. You can pray to it to be cured of poison and all kinds of other things. Aww. Anyway, enough of my yammering. Why don't you take a closer look at all this camping kit for yourself? You'll need to get used to what campsites look like and how to find them. After all, you'll be relying on them whenever you're out in the wilderness. It's like my old dad always said. Keen campers can continue on where others can't. Be prepared. Well, that's all from me. If you have any camping-related queries, feel free to ask. I'm here all the time. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. Okay. But yeah. Campsites are where you can rest and whatnot. And also, this acts as a little bit of a save point for when you can't find a church. Okay, save. Okay. Yeah, they're pretty useful. Okay, come on. Let's go. Not a punk. Okay. I gotta admit, I like the plot of punk. Because it's got a very interesting design. But also, they just look adorable to me.
to head in to Heliodor. I just don't want to make it sound like I'm cursing or anything. Yes. I'll go get her down. Okay. Walk across. Oh! Meant to jump from there. Might be a little bit before I can figure out a way to get up there. But hmm. Hmm. 
Yeah. Okay, Levin accepts the Soldier and the Strategist, a Tale of Two Heroes quest. Time to go to the castle. So fast. State your business. Eleven explains that he's the luminary and he's coming to speak to the king. <laughs> Here, shake my hand, mate. That's the funniest one I've heard all week. Clear off, will ya? We haven't got time for this kind of nonsense. What's that? You want to show that pendant to the king, you say? Oh. <laughs> well, now you believe him. Wait here a minute. Huh? Ever so sorry for that little misunderstanding. It's all good. Please, go right on through. His Majesty's waiting for you. Okay. So now we can go on through. Door Castle. Very beautiful. I remember I grabbed something in here. I just don't remember what. Head out onto the balcony. Yes. and finds a mini metal. Yeah, because mini metals can be found all over the world. I remember that, well, coming out here to pick up one. I just don't remember where I can find others, though. It might come back to me. Introduction to the king. Hmm. 
That will be quite close enough. Hmm. Welcome to Heliodor Castle, friend. The Jewel of Dundrasil. You are bold indeed to have made your way here alone, Wanderer. I am Carnelian, ruler of Heliodor. How long have I waited for this day? And now, finally, we meet. Truly, it is an honor. Hmm. The fact that you come here proffering the jewel and asking to speak with me personally would suggest that you know something of your true nature. I take it that you also bear the mark? Yep. Yes, the mark of light. Then there is no doubt you are he. Rejoice, dear subjects. The day is upon us at last. The luminary walks among us once more. <laughs> Tell me, O oh luminary, where exactly is it that you hail from? I would so very much like to pay tribute to those who took you in and raised you. Levin tells King Carnelian that he was raised in the village of Cobblestone. I see. Cobblestone, you say? Jasper, you know of this place? I do, my liege. A village of provincial nobodies deep in the rocky south. Then I take it you know what to do. Do not disappoint me. Yes, my liege. Hmm. Uh. A cursed luminary. I know not what your intent was in coming here And it's just like, alone. what the heck? Whatever your wicked scheme, know that it shall not succeed. It's one thing. <sighs> Love and ain't evil. Hendrik, take this cur, this harbinger of calamity, and cast him into the furthest corner of the dungeon. Know this. The luminary is the root of all evil and will bring naught but misery to our realm. That ain't true. And why is this? The reason is simple. Just as light is intertwined with darkness, so too is the luminary intertwined with the dread lord of shadows. His coming heralds the resurrection of the Dark One. Did you really think you could fool one as wise as his majesty? It was your great misfortune to confront one who knows your true nature. Men! Hendrick! Seize this wrong to assume that. It's kind of wrong to assume that. Because after all, the luminary saved everyone once. And the resurrection of the new luminary would definitely save everyone once again. Ew, just wrong to throw him in, into the dungeons without reason. Okay, so now... You claim to hail from Cobblestone. Well, before the sun has set three times, we shall know the truth. Come on. By then, Jasper will have returned from after his all, Eleven ain't bad. If I were you, Dark Spawn, I would not expect to live beyond that day. Hmm. Huh? And it's... And who is 
is that in the other cell? We do not know. A hero in chains? A warder for fulfilling your duty? And trophy earned? Adventure awaits. Okay. But, Eliodor Dungeons? Okay. So what we want to do is try to gain his attention. The guy in the other cell. <laughs> Will you keep it down in there? Most folks they throw in here have the decency to wait a while before going stir crazy. <laughs> what are you in for, anyhow? You don't get free bed and board down here without having done something pretty bad. Yeah. Wait, did you say the luminary? You're serious? <sighs> You're telling me the luminary has just shown up in the cell next to mine. This is crazy. <laughs> One plate of delicious gruel for the gentleman in the dungeon suite. Come and get it. <laughs> Nice one. The luminary. You're serious? Yep. Thrown in jail when so he did it's nothing all wrong. Just like the seer said it would. Hmm. We better get out of here. Huh? Uh oh. Wait here. <clears throat> you. Uh. Don't worry, I didn't kill him. But he won't be waking up anytime okay. soon. Things will get pretty hairy up ahead. You'd better take this. Okay, and? <laughs> oh, and I found this in a stuff corner back. over there. I guess it's your stuff, right? Yep. Thank you. It's me? I got this little beauty back. So now I'm pretty much unstoppable. Hmm. <laughs> We better get out of here before any more of our tin-headed friends come knocking. Hollow, when you're ready to move out, okay? Okay. I spend ages digging this hole, and you just happen to show up the day I finish it? Heck of a coincidence. Guess I really was meant to help you out, just like the seer said. Anyway, mm. there'll be time to talk about all that later. In you go. The sewers, huh? Well, there must be a way out somewhere. Lead the way. I got your back. Okay. Okay, but some of these doors we can't go through. 
because we'll have to keep looking for a way to get out. Damn it. How we were we gone so fast. Scarce. It was like, huh. Go, go, go. Okay. You okay? You okay? Looks like we shook the guards at least. <laughs> and that looks like a way out. Maybe our luck's about to change. Maybe so. Maybe so. Okay, but unknown area. Dave. Yes. Okay. Okay, I'm back. Sorry. I was eating I was eating some dinner, but yeah. So now Huh, what is that? Oh. Well, it's Scream there for the fun of it. Whoa! If we stand and fight, we're dead. Let's get the heck out of here. That thing is very overpowered. The dragon, I mean. Let's get out of here. Because it's like, what is the dragon even doing under Eliodor Castle? Just jump for it! Well, here goes nothing. Hmm. I think we gave it the slip. Nope.
Uh, I spoke too soon. Come on, quickly! Has it gone? Whew. That was way too close for comfort. What's that thing doing under the castle anyway? Right. Well, whatever. It seems pretty we weird. To just even have a dragon lying around. Oh, great. Move, move, move! more of this I can take. Huh? Huh? There he is! The dark spawn! Oh, great. Ah, <laughs> oh, me and my big mouth. Move! <laughs> oh, looks like our luck finally ran out. Uh-oh. Hmm. No way back, huh? If they catch us, we're dead meat. Right. <laughs> Hold! <laughs> Let's do this. I believe in you. Hmm. I believe in the Luminary. I don't have much choice. <sighs> Come on! Let's not do anything stupid now. And he finally the shows Eric, his face. I <laughs> <laughs> gotta admit, he got some fluffy hair. <laughs> Eric. Beautiful. But now, Square Enix presents...
Dragon Quest XI, Echoes of Elusive HS, Definitive Edition. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Come on, up you get. <laughs> hey, Eric. Finally, I was worried we'd lost you for a minute there. You've been out cold ever since we jumped. Ooh. I had to drag you all the way here on my own. But what a jump it was. I closed my eyes, put my faith in the luminary, and somehow didn't get smashed into a thousand pieces. <laughs> in fact, I woke up on the forest floor at the bottom of the cliff without a scratch on me. Amazing what a little faith can do. <laughs> anyway, I guess you and me must be at the top of the King of Heliodor's most wanted list right. by now. Which means we can't have Considering hang around now here that he too knows long. about eleven. Let's go say thanks to the Being the luminary, he's definitely away. gonna be on the hunt. Okay, a hero hounded. Awarded for making a daring escape from the dungeons of Eliodor Castle and sneaking through the sewers with Eric. Trophy earned a close call. Okay, but yeah. But, let's go out. Ah, there you are, my children. <laughs> I trust that your friend here is fully recovered. Yep. Oh, don't worry about him. He's just fine. Hey, thanks for looking out for us. We owe you one. Not at all, dear. I'm just happy to see you both well again. But if you are leaving, you must be careful on the road. It seems some dangerous criminals have escaped from the capital and are at large somewhere in the area. Oh, I shudder to think what wicked deeds they might be capable of. They're not evil at all. Criminals, just, you say? Just Dear misjudged. Me, that doesn't sound good. And you heard this when you were in Heliodor. I did indeed, my child. There were guards everywhere. They are searching high and low for the villains. And I heard that the mighty knight Sir Hendrik himself has headed to the mountains in the south with his troops. That means... They say he means to block the road to Cobblestone, the village the fugitives came from. <laughs> Oh, but you must forgive me, Amber and Gemma and the others could be in trouble. I did not mean to alarm you. They will soon be caught, I am sure. Justice will be done. And until then, you are free to remain with us for as long as you please. Thanks. We appreciate mm -hmm. that. Um, we're going to get a little fresh air. We have a few things to discuss, right? <laughs> right. But, okay, I'm gonna save. Okay, but yeah. So, this is where we're gonna end it. Hang on. Okay, there we go. But yeah. This is where we're gonna end it. In the next part, we're gonna be finding out what to do next. So, if you like this video, make sure to hit that like button, smash the subscribe button for more content in the future just like this, and click that notification bell for my latest videos and updates, and make sure to head over to Patreon to help support my college classes, Tell me continue the channel. But yeah, 
I'm Princess Swordheart the Gamer Queen, and I'm signing off. Bye! Thank you.